80% of current retirees said they have enough money to live comfortably. What? How can this be? There's a retirement crisis. Too many people are relying on Social Security. We're all going broke. Susie Orman says 5 million. Fidelity or Schwab say 1.7 million. No one has that kind of money. And yet 80% of retirees are saying, 78% to be exact, are saying they have enough money to live comfortably. And yet only 51% of pre-retirees expect to have enough to live comfortably. Interesting. So let's go. To, it just starts there. Let's go to this thing right here. It's going to be, I want to go to HRS, Aging in the 21st Century. This is the Health and Retirement Study from the University of Michigan. Uh, this is Dateline 2000, 2016 or 2017 study. I think it's 2017 for the 2016 study. All right, so let's see. Retirement satisfaction. You ready? Now, this looks, who no Trends and percent very satisfied with retirement from 1998 to 2014. 1998, if you were 85 or above, about uh, two-thirds of you were very satisfied with retirement. Fast forward till night 2014, and 56% of you were still very satisfied with retirement. All right? If you were uh, 65 to 74 in 1998, 62% uh, of you were very satisfied in retirement in 2014. 54% are very satisfied in retirement. And uh, the only people who aren't satisfied, actually, I'm not even sure these 50, you 55 to 64 are people 55 to 64. Now, what I attribute this drop off about very satisfied is the uh, many of these people probably have mortgages. But now, because back in the old days, they didn't really have that many mortgages. I've done one of my first videos I ever done was on this exactly. But let's not overlook. This is very satisfied in retirement. If you are between the age of 65 and 80, well, over 85, more than half of you are not just satisfied, but very satisfied in retirement. Let's go back to the Gallup poll. 78% of retirees said they have enough money to live comfortably. All right, so that's the Federal Reserve. That's the Health and Re Human Resources Study. Health and Human Resources. <laughs> the Health and Retirement Study. Let's go to the EBRI, shall we? Here's a, the leading headline, which is very clickbaity. Trends in retirement satisfaction. Few are having a great time. So that could lead to like, oh, that could lead you a lot, but we're going to show you something. You ready? Let's go down here. If I can find, hold on, let me pause real quick. I got to find the, uh, the yeah, right here. Let me find the chart. Hold on a sec. Yeah, right here. There we go. Um, 48.6% of retirees are very satisfied in 2012. Whereas 41% are some are moderately satisfied. Only 10% are not satisfied at all. So with the 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 <laughs> the misleading nature is few are having a great time, but if we go down to the study, we see very satisfied in retirement is 40 is basically 90%. 90% of the population are very satisfied in retirement is 91.2 who were, uh, or at least satisfied to some degree in retirement is 91.2 who were before. So we have a 33% increase in people who are moderately satisfied and a 20, about 20% 20 decrease in people who are very satisfied. They're still satisfied. Moderately and, and very satisfied. And don't forget, this is 2012. We just went through the Great Recession, too. So, isn't that interesting? Even in 2008, uh, 40, 90 odd percent were still satisfied or moderately satisfied. Even in 2002, after September 11th, 93% were still satisfied or moderately satisfied. We've had a decline in those who are very satisfied, but we have a big run up for those who are, are moderately satisfied. Obviously, some people are dropping from here at very satisfied and going here. That's all there is to it. At the end of the day, that's all, I mean, it's just personal opinion. Either way, they're still satisfied. What do we've had? We had 8% uh, who are not at all satisfied. Now we got 10.5%. So that's gone up by 25%, but it's still less than 1 in 10 are not satisfied at all in retirement. Hmm, interesting, huh? Uh, let's see here. Time trends of retirement satisfaction, lowest asset quartile only. All right, so uh, if you are, let's see, the uh, very satisfied, so even the highest people in the highest, uh, let's see, the, low, the lowest asset. So even 30% almost of the people in the lowest asset quartile, the people who've got the bottom 25% of assets, uh, more than one in four are still very satisfied in retirement. 
even one in uh, two are very are moderately satisfied in retirement. Isn't that nuts? So the lowest asset level, the lowest quartile, the 25% who have the least amount of assets, well over, um, that's that's 80 per, you know, roughly 78% are still somewhat satisfied to very satisfied in retirement. Crazy, crazy. Highest asset, asset quartile, well, obviously, if you're in a high asset, you're going to be satisfied in retirement, I would think. But even here, 2.7% of the people are not satisfied at all satisfied, whereas 97% uh, of the people are somewhat or very satisfied in retirement. And even here, you still got dropped off. Oh, that's crazy, man. Uh, with no pension, uh, for those with no pension income, retirement satisfaction, you got no pension income, 87% of the people are still satisfied to some degree in retirement with no pension income. I mean, that's, look at that, 2000, this is 2012, just a couple of years removed from the Great Recession. And here we got 46% of the people are very satisfied in 2012, which is down from 54% in 1998. Not a huge decline at all. Uh, we had 11% who weren't at all satisfied when they didn't have a pension, and now we have 12%. All right, not a big deal. 35% were moderately satisfied, and now 42% are moderately satisfied. That's without a pension. Uh, let's see, time transfer retirement with a, with a pension. Now, this is interesting. With those with a pension, we have uh, 80, what's that, 84, 85, 95% of the people are satisfied if you have a pension. If you don't have a pension, 88% are satisfied. I just, and even those with a pension has been dropping. So remember when they say, the pension will lead to more satisfaction retirement. Well, we have proof positive, not right here. I'm telling you, I know the reason why this, because if you look, where is the thing I just did? Right here. It's because of debt. I'm just telling you right now, I'm telling you, if you look at the debt level, and I did a, I'm telling you, I should have brought that up, but uh, the debt level has increased. And as the debt level has increased, more and more people are, are less satisfied. That's just all there is to it. So I guarantee, let's see if they even do a thing on mortgages in here. Um, all right, so very satisfied. They're doing by, uh, by age survey group. Uh, it, look at that, 90%, if you're over the age of 90, you are the highest satisfied in retirement. Well, how could that possibly, they all got Alzheimer's? I mean, that doesn't make any sense. If you're over the age of 90 and they don't know what's going on because they all got Alzheimer's, that, that doesn't make sense. If you're over the age of 90, you have a high, you have the highest level of satisfaction. If you're the age of 80 to 90, you have the second highest level of satisfaction. If you're the age of 70, 79, you have the third level. You see how this works? Because the fear you're seeing, you know, it's not as bad as I thought. If you're 50 to 59, you have the least level of uh, very satisfaction because you're scared crapless. You hit 60, 69, it jumps up quite a bit. All right, you're like, yeah, 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 okay, it's pretty good. You hit 70, you're like, yeah, it's pretty good. 80, you're like, yeah, no problem. 90, you're like, hey, either I got Alzheimer's, I don't know who I am, or I'm freaking saying, yeah, all that fear was just nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Oh, yeah, I love it. I love this stuff. I can, I can eat this stuff all day long. So if you're 50 to 59, tw basically a quarter of you are not at all satisfied with retirement. If you're 90 plus, one in 20 are not at all satisfied with retirement. Yeah, how could they be running out of money if they're satisfied with retirement? Oh, yeah, yeah, nuts, man. Um, I'm not, it just, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, consistent sample of people as they age 19. Yeah. I mean, so here we're going back to trends in retirement satisfaction for a consistent sample of respondents as they age. Uh, consistent all these parts of Okay. Oh, oh, sweet. Oh, this is cool. So, oh, this is like a time thing. So, this sample consists only of those participants who are present in the survey's years reported. So, for someone in 1998, they had a 72% very satisfied uh, level of retirement. In 2012, it dropped to 62.12%. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, this guy keeps calling. Man. What's going on? Uh, moderately satisfied in 1998, it was 23.9%, and it went up to 34%. So it's the same. That's interesting. So very satisfied people were two-thirds to one-fourth of the, of the three-fourths of the total population. They remain satisfied throughout. Uh, basically, a quarter to a third uh, were moderately satisfied, and they remain moderately satisfied throughout. But you always have these, uh, you know, negative Nellies here at 3.6 to 3.5. So you're always gonna have some people just, uh, uh, what was me? It stinks to America. America's the worst. Medicare for all. I know some people just like that. Net worth of respondents uh, in the consistent sample and the overall sample. So the overall sample is not people who are in the thing, the survey every year. 
uh, and every every time they did it, it's 202,000 overall sample and uh, 374,000 for the consistent sample. Well, that kind of lead me to believe. Well, let's see that. That doesn't tell you if it's adjusted. I'm so I'm not sure what that is. That just says uh, difference. Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't tell me much. I don't know if that's 374,000 at the end of 2016 or I don't know what that is. So, yeah, we got a lot going on here. I just love this stuff because it just proves once and for all that naysayers are nothing but negative millies. They're falling at three and a half percent right there. So, but yet the survey says trends in retirement satisfaction. Few are having a great time. They're having a good time, not a great time. That works for me. All right, let's keep going. So we looked at HRS. We looked at, uh, oh, I wanted to go to this thing here. Was it this guy here? Yeah. Uh, this is from the uh, survey of, what is this guy right here? That's the Federal Reserve. That is the, sur the Report of Economic Well-Being and Households. And I want to, yeah, retirement. Let's go down here. So this is from the Federal Reserve Board. Uh, hold on just a second. It's towards the bottom here, right? Well-being in retirement right here. Yeah. Retirees are somewhat more likely to report they're at least doing okay financially than non-retirees. 78% of retirees are saying they're at least doing okay than non-retirees. Again, how could you be destitute if you're, uh, if you're 78% are saying you're doing okay? That doesn't make any sense. Oy. I just, it's, I, and this is from the, uh, the Fed Reserve from 2019. Uh, let's see what else they got to do here. Um, it doesn't give us a graph of that, but anyway, it just shows you right there that 78% of retirees are reporting that they're doing just fine. Was that uh, from Gallup? Cause that would be, uh, these results were for non-retired with self-directed accounts. The results of the, uh, see financial literacy. Some people, okay. Okay. Well, they don't even say so. All right. I'm sorry. We got ample, ample evidence, my friends. And then going back to my man, Andrew Briggs. The fears of retirement crisis are overblown. These numbers prove it, and he gives you all the uh, the links and everything. Again, I, I I refer to Andrew Biggs in my book, Retire on Social Security. I email him if he'd be ever be willing to be on my podcast. It'd be pretty sweet. So let me just read. Nearly 8 in 10 tell Gallup that they have enough m money to live comfortably versus 6 in 10 working age adults. Yeah, again, so working, I would say working uh, makes you less happy. That's you can make those correlations. If you work, you'll be less happy. You'll be, you won't be able to live comfortably. So retire today because you'll be able to live more comfortably. Because look, we got numbers that prove it, right? Stupid, but that's how you could spin these numbers. Uh, the Federal Reserve's 2018 uh, shed it's a survey of household economics decision makings. Only four percent of retirees are said they're finding it hard to get by. The HRS 81, the Health and Retirement Study from University of Michigan, 81 percent of retirees. In 2016, described retirement as either good or better than their previous years, which is up from 65% in 2000 and 1992. And this is the HRS, by the way. Um, and I, uh, one of these days I'll do a whole video on this because it's, it's incredibly interesting. Aging in the 21st century. All right, so I just, uh, uh, not, in that same 2016 survey, 93% of seniors described their retirement as very, very or moderately satisfying. We've already gone over that. Uh, survey of consumer finances finds that 75% of Americans aged 65 or more reporting having enough income to at least maintain their pre-retirement standard of living. Uh, yeah, sure, Americans worry. 2017 study of Vanguard said 54% of retirees fear that Americans face a retirement crisis. But only 4% of retirees in Vanguard survey describe their own situation as a crisis. Uh, uh, what are we doing here? So anyway, I love this stuff. You should love it too. We are in a good place, my friends. Here, no retirement crisis. You got to kick these people to the curb who keep saying it. it's nuts. It's nuts. Not, I, well, I'll read you another article here in just a second from the uh, Center for American Progress, which is the lefties. Uh, and we'll see what they say because, you know, they're pushing negativity. That's what they do. I get it. And uh, the government will be there to solve our problem. So hang in there. Stop worrying. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I just at the end of the day, if all these people are destitute, how come the vast, vast, vast majority of people in 90 years and above are very satisfied with retirement? We'll see. We'll see you. Don't forget to smash. Hit the bell to be notification. And if you haven't, subscribe, my friends. What's holding you back? It's free.